On a humid day in New York, the semi final between Sinner and Draper, which lasted just over three hours despite it being just three sets, tested both players physically. While it was his first Grand Slam semi final of his career, the lefty Draper played Sinner tough. The first set lasted almost an hour. The second set was even more grueling. At just short of 90 minutes, Draper vomited multiple times. Sinner, meanwhile, had a potential injury scare in the middle of what was the most electrifying point of the match at 4 4, 15 40. Sinner, who was at the net after returning a Draper volley, needed to sprint diagonally across the court and back to the baseline to chase down Draper's follow up shot. The 6 foot 3 Italian, showing his incredible movement and reach, was able to hit a lob to keep the point alive. But while subsequently sliding on the court to change his momentum, Sinner stumbled near the Wally and onto his left wrist while trying to break his fall. Sinner, who is right-handed, was able to get up and handle a draper overhead, putting a forehand winner past the Brit A and then grabbed at the wrist and leaned over.